of the great privileges that I had was to go to my father who adopted me and pray with him to come to Christ. And he lived 15 more years before he went to heaven. I was able to pray with my mom a month before she died and went to heaven. And I prayed with my son when he was just a little boy to make a commitment to follow Jesus Christ and now he too is in heaven. I'd like to pray with you as well because I want you to go to heaven. And I think deep down inside, you want to go to heaven. You see, you were made for another world. You're a living soul. You're made in the image of God. And there's nothing that this world offers that's going to satisfy the deepest desires inside of you. C.S. Lewis called this the inconsolable longing, the secret signature of every soul, meaning that deep down we long for something more. That's why from the moment you were born, you've been on a quest. You've been searching. I was searching as a young boy. And I even looked into drugs and drinking and partying, thinking I'd find the answers there, and I didn't. And then I heard the message of Jesus Christ, and I believed. And it was when I heard that statement where Jesus said, you're for me or against me. And I thought, well, am I against God? I don't want to be. I want to be for him. And I believed in Jesus on that day, and I've never regretted it, and you won't either. Would you like to go to heaven when you die? Would you like your sin forgiven? Would you like that void deep inside of you filled? If so, here's just a few things you need to know really quickly. You're a sinner. Now, don't take that personally. We're all sinners. The Bible says we've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Every one of us have broken God's commandments, and every one of us have fallen short of God's standards. There are no exceptions. Number two, you need to realize that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, voluntarily went to a cross and died there in your place. He came to pay a debt he did not owe because you owed a debt you could not pay. And Jesus took hold of a holy God with one hand, an unholy man with the other, and they drove spikes through his hands and he died for the sin of the world. Jesus himself said, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You need to know you're a sinner, recognize Christ died for you, then you need to repent of your sin. What does that mean? Well, the word repent means to change your direction. It means to be sorry for what you've done, but sorry enough to stop. Because the Bible says godly sorrow will produce repentance. And the Bible also tells us God has commanded people everywhere to repent. What does it mean? It means turn from all known sin, hang a U-turn in the road of life, and start following Jesus Christ. Number four, you must receive Jesus into your life. What does that mean? It means there has to come a moment when you say, Jesus, come into my life. I can't do that for you. Only you can do it for yourself. The Bible says, for as many as received him, he gave them the power to become sons of God. In fact, Jesus himself says, behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if you will hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. See, being a Christian isn't just following a creed. It's having Christ himself live in you. Would you like Christ to come and live in you now? Would you like to be forgiven of your sins? Would you like to find the meaning and purpose of your life? Would you like to go to heaven when you die? If so, would you just pray this prayer with me right now? And this is a prayer where you're asking Jesus to come into your life. Again, pray this prayer right now after me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, but I believe you died on the cross and shed your blood for every sin I have ever committed. I turn now from my sin and choose to follow you from this moment forward. Be my Savior, be my Lord, be my God, and be my friend. Thank you for calling me and loving me and accepting me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, maybe you felt something just then, like an emotional experience, a, a deep peace or a great joy, or maybe a sorrow for the wrongs that you've done. Then again, you may be more like I was on the day that I prayed that prayer, and you felt absolutely nothing. Well, listen, this is not about what you felt. This is about what God has done for you. 
And the Bible says, we write these things to you that you might know that you have eternal life. And if you prayed that prayer in minute, I want you to know in the authority of God's word, you have eternal life. You will go to heaven when you die. You have made the right decision, the decision to follow Jesus Christ. God bless you.